it would change my life. When 62-year-old Virginia Kaiser's kidneys began to fail, her doctors immediately recommended hemodialysis, a process to clean her blood since her kidneys could no longer do the job. They told me that I would have to go into dialysis, that before I went in I would have to have a graft or a fistula done in my, one of my arms. Those complications occur frequently because the excess graft used to route blood to the dialysis machine must be punctured by large needles at least six times per week. The punctures, along with the high blood flow rate through the graft, cause a variety of failures, including clotting, infection, and a narrowing of the vessel. Most of these failures require a surgical intervention to restore function to the access. Now, a California-based company called Cytograph Tissue Engineering may have the answer for hemodialysis patients like Kaiser. Co-founders and researchers Drs. Nicholas LaRue and Todd McAllister have developed a groundbreaking process in regenerative medicine called the Lifeline Graft. What we've done at Cytograft is we've developed a process where we're able to transform cells into basic building blocks. We're able to then assemble those building blocks into more complex tissues and organs that can be implanted back into the patient to restore function to a diseased or damaged tissue. And what's unique about this process that we've developed is that we're able to do that with no synthetic materials whatsoever. So it's comprised of the patient cells or in some cases another patient cells and no other material whatsoever. These cell-based building blocks are grown as sturdy sheets or threads of tissue that can be stacked, shaped, molded, or woven into complex three-dimensional structures like blood vessels, heart valves, or even whole organs. In early studies, the company built graphs for hemodialysis access using a patient's own cells. That study, which demonstrated dramatic reductions in access graft complication rates, was hailed as a revolutionary milestone by the most prestigious medical journals in America and Europe. Then in 2010, the company transitioned to an allogeneic model where cells from a single master donor were used to grow grafts for other patients. This brought production costs down significantly and made the graft available off the shelf. In fact, the first three implant patients were so successful, the American Heart Association recognized the work at its National Emerging Science Series as the world's first human implant of a lab-grown vessel. We were, of course, very relieved and very excited to see that with our first three patients, there was no evidence of a clinically significant immune response or an inflammatory reaction. The team's first three patients had a total of 25 interventions in the two years prior to enrollment in the trial, and typically the intervention rate would increase with time. To date, however, none of the patients has required an intervention. And while the study is still in early stages, it clearly has the potential to have a dramatic impact on the nearly 400,000 dialysis patients in the United States. Kidney failure patients like Virginia Kaiser need options. I have a 10-year-old grandson who wants me to be here when he gets married at 29, so I need to be here. Cytograph's groundbreaking work in regenerative medicine could make that a reality for Kaiser and millions more like her.